I'm Mark Adams from Vision Solutions. I'm glad to be first up after the break. I'm hoping you're all feeling very generous after you've had a bit of food and a bit more caffeine when it comes to the voting. Um, I'm also going to time myself in a moment because I struggle talking too much at, at times on certain areas. So I'm the channel sales manager for Vision Solutions for the UK and Ireland. And what we're going to be concentrating on, what I'm going to be talking about today is uh, part in cloud and how we can help you making that journey to the cloud for your clients. Um, I'm just going to give a very quick overview on Vision Solutions, who we are, who Double Take are, and then uh, just going to talk through about the solutions. And then hopefully afterwards, I'll leave a little bit of time for a presentation a little bit later. So Vision Solutions, uh, well, we've been going for about 20 years, and we support data replication, uh, high availability, disaster recovery. The idea is about moving data from A to B, essentially. And Vision, historically, we're born out of or we support some exotic OSs like IBM, AIX, of areas that I haven't focused in as much. And we acquired Double Take software in 2011. Now, I've worked for Double Take for about 12 years now. And what that enabled Vision to do was suddenly give data replication across the field of IBM systems, Windows, or Microsoft, Linux. And I'll keep mentioning about data replication because there's a few use cases for that. Um, so we have a, a portfolio here, again, displaying high availability solutions and, and DR and migration. Today, I'm just really going to focus on, on the migration aspect for you. Uh, if you want to hear more about HA and DR, vote four or five later, and, and we can look at that for you and where that could be useful for your clients. But initially, I'm just going to focus on, on this uh, migration aspect. Just a, a show of hands, are anyone familiar with Double Take Software? Does anyone sort of know the name, know the brand? I'll go and see a few hands being raised, I think probably just by those people I spoke to this morning. Um, so where Double Take Move fits in, or, or Double Take as a solution, as I mentioned, we're, we're all about replication. And so where that's of an interest for you, if you're all talking to clients at the moment, obviously you're talking about some sort of cloud solution or, or data movement, we can simply help migrate from where you are at the moment onto a new platform. So whether that's physical to physical, or more likely in, the, in, in today's environment, physical to cloud, virtual to virtual. We can do cross-hypervisor. We're vendor agnostic with the hardware. We're storage agnostic. So suddenly for you, it becomes a very, very flexible and easy to use solution. All of your clients will have different environments. Some of them may have adopted Hyper-V. Some of them may have adopted VMware. Some of them may have various storage solutions. They already may have migrated onto certain cloud platforms. Where we can help, we simply, uh, our software is installed on the OS, on the Windows OS itself. We can migrate the, the OS, the application, the data, everything in real time with minimal downtime. Now, why that's a great use for you is because clients typically don't like their servers going down, their environments going down. So with our software, you can run it in the background, install it, all your client servers are still online, still operating. Because we're installing on the OS itself, we support any application running on a server. So whether they've got something standard like Exchange or SQL or something a bit more bespoke, we can help migrate it for you. The software itself will mirror and replicate in the background. And as I mentioned, it doesn't matter what their environment is. We can take it across to Azure. We can take it out of AWS. If they're on VMware, we can do that onto any platform as well. So again, it starts to be a tool for you. And that's what I want you to look at Double Take as, purely a tool. Um, a tool that your technical team can use. It's all about services and trying to add value around your cloud offering. Yes, you can take them to Azure, and it's hard enough getting your clients to buy into, into the cloud and help them understand the benefits of the cloud, whether it's flexibility, agility, where they're going to save their money. So once you've made or that you've helped them make that decision in migrating over and moving over, the next part of it is, well, how do we get there? So using our tool set, suddenly we can take a lot of the risks out of it for you and minimize the downtime as well. Um, I better keep moving through the slides. I can probably talk on this slide on its own for about 12 minutes. Um, 
So just to give it a little bit more of a Microsoft feel for you, for you as well, here it just again supports or shows some of the areas that, that we support, whether it's the, the server going from Hyper-V uh, or going to Hyper-V environments to going to Azure. The bottom part there about the SQL uh, replication as well, that's a really interesting play for us at the moment and should be for you as well. And again, something for you to talk to your clients about. SQL 2005 went end of life last month. There's still a number of people running SQL. It's in exactly the same way. There's a lot of clients out there running Server 2003. So it's working with them to try and move them either off Server 2003 or SQL. Now, using our software again, we can replicate from a SQL server in real time and upload it into a SQL 2014 server. We're talking about five minutes downtime. So suddenly it becomes a very, very interesting tool that you can use to help your clients migrate over. Are anyone, is anyone at the moment talking to clients who have an older version of SQL or 2003, which is an issue for them? No, well, I'll move on then. Um, so from our perspective, well, what I'm going to look at now very quickly is the sort of the, the opportunity itself and where we see it. Um, so Uber, I'm sure you're all familiar with Uber, very disruptive technology, very disruptive company. Um, they sort of built, built a platform of one of the most successful private hire com uh, companies in the world now, yet they don't own a single taxi. We very similarly are very much, uh, it's all about the journey for us, so we're trying to picture ourselves as essentially a cloud taxi. We don't own any clouds, don't own any taxis either, but it's, it's trying to help with that journey. Now, has anyone here used Uber? Oh, well. Um, do, you, do any of you own a car? So you own a car, but you use Uber. In a very similar way, with our software, you may have technical resources that will do the um, migration for you because they're very technical, they like to get involved. I was speaking to someone earlier when I was trying to sort of tell her about moving. She said, I've um, got my own technical team that can do this. They're, they're very skilled at doing migrations. And I'm not going to deny that, but what you want to do is free that resource up. Using our software, you can suddenly uh, free up them, whether it's either the software as a tool, because with Double Take Move, you can typically install it within about 15 minutes and then just walk away. And it'll migrate in the background and, and sync. And at one point, you do a failover or a cutover or a test migration. Rather than having your engineers working evenings, working weekends, again, it suddenly enables you to bring on a lot more projects. I'm talking about bringing on more projects as well, and it's something I'd like to talk about a little bit later. You can either use our software or we have a professional services team that you can outsource your migrations to. And we do this for a number of companies, and a number of partners, and a number of SI partners who are out there wanting to win more deals, bring more business in, but you know what? They might not have the resources available to do it at the moment. So you can bring the entire migration to us, and we can do it for you, whether it's discovery, uh, analysis, the POC, the migration. So again, just something to think about and to hopefully talk about later. The opportunity for us is whenever you're taking anyone to the cloud, it's, you, you don't want to essentially just move what they've got from where they are at the moment and migrate that over into the cloud. That won't fix all issues because you're just moving it from one environment to another. So it's a great opportunity for you to offer a transformation service. And as I mentioned before, there's an opportunity at the moment around 2003 as well as 2005 as well as any server environment they've got uh, currently. So we can either move the entire server as, as it is, or we can simply migrate the data off of their application onto a new Windows server application. So again, it's trying to add those service, service, services into the model for you and hopefully increasing your uh, profit potential. We, all, well, we, we try and work with partners around positioning the migration service. Don't think of it as, a, as an after effect I, either. Yes, you've got to try and help the clients get onto the board uh, with, uh, with cloud adaption and help them try and move over and help them understand why they're moving over. However, the migration is a key part of this. So many cloud migrations projects fail or stall because of this, this migration aspect, typically because of downtime. Clients do not like downtime or the risk. 
the risk of moving on to the cloud, the, the, the whole great unknown of it. We try and position on the migration side uh, as well as a cloud exit strategy to remove the risk. And an exit strategy, you might think, well, why, why, why would we want to highlight to the clients that we can get them out of the cloud? So exactly for that reason, to take that risk away. Any clients you're talking to at the moment, someone will have the responsibility for their company, well, if we move on to the cloud, what happens if it all goes wrong? What happens if it doesn't function the way we want it to function? Well, using our software, our services, which you can offer, you can then take them out of the cloud and take them wherever they need to go. It also enables you to target clients, for example, that are in Amazon right now and move them over, over to Azure. We even have an app that you can do on your phone, on your iPad, you can sit on a beach, put in someone's Amazon details, put in their Azure details, and literally click Migrate. And they can start the migration process over very quickly, very easily. If they have a larger estate, we wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this because, again, it all depends on how many servers they've got, what's involved, and you want to add some more service and more value around this. I think I'm probably pushing for time. Got about a minute left. So, one of the things I touched on a moment ago was about our cloud, uh, cloud service offering, the migration assurance program, a sure thing. So, this just very simply talks through something that, that we offer. I mean, with our software, if the client's only got a few migrations, you, your guys should be able to get trained up and know how to use our, our, our Move software to, to enable them to migrate. Uh, for those more difficult migrations, whether if cl clients got my, uh, clusters, whether they simply don't want to get involved because the risk of that migration is far too serious for it to go wrong, we're currently working with um, a team in the top five of the Premiership to migrate their web servers from where they are at the moment. We're only talking about five servers, uh, but we're talking about a number of web servers on those servers. And they've got their own technical team, but the risk of their website going down for any period of time is too great for them to want to put, put their sort of jobs on the plate, essentially. So that's why they've come to us, and that's why we're helping them migrate over to a new platform onto Azure, again, because we, we've got this tied and tested process. We've now done over 140,000 migrations. We do migrations for Microsoft, for HP, for Tata, for a number of SIs. And we do this and we continually win business picking up, either using our software or using our service, services because the software itself, we've been around for about 20 years. The replication engine that it's all built on has been tried and tested for about 20 years. So we, we know what we're doing. We've only been doing migrations probably for the last two or three years. We're always focused on HA and DR, um, which is all about replicating servers from one environment to another environment failing over. And it only dawned on us a few years ago that if you fail over and don't fail back, we've just done a migration. And now with the cloud and everything else, with virtualization, suddenly we're in a very strong position in this area. And we've got a very strong professional service team in the background that can, can help with the whole program. Now, I've just been given a 30-second warning, so uh, I'd like to th finish there. If you want to learn anything more about migration planning, please vote. Um, otherwise, thank you very much, and see you all later.